All right, Brad, thanks so much. Well, we know more tonight about a shooting at an after prom party over the weekend happened in Jasper County. We learned earlier today that 11 people were injured when shots rang out just after midnight on Sunday. KTRE's Mariella Gonzalez was at a press conference earlier today where the sheriff and the district attorney released new details. What should have been a very special evening turned into a tragic event that will unfortunately be remembered for all the wrong reasons. The Jasper County Sheriff's Office shared new information Tuesday afternoon regarding the shooting at a home on County Road 263. Jasper County Sheriff Mitchell Newman says they currently have four people of interest. Myself, Chief Deputy Scott Duncan, and deputies are working around the clock to process evidence, statements, and follow leads. Newman confirms a vehicle used in the shooting was found abandoned, but did not release where it was found. No one died in the shooting, but 11 people were shot. As of Tuesday night, three of those people remain in the hospital. Newman says two more victims self-admitted to the hospital on Monday. Jasper County Crime Victims Coordinator Lorana Gray says many of those who were at the party and not physically injured could still be suffering from emotional stress. She says counseling services are available. Everyone present is a victim of an extremely traumatic event. Following the shooting, Newman says they have added officers at schools within the county. There have been no safety issues in any other district regarding this incident. And we will ensure that we provide whatever assistance they need. District Attorney Ann Pickle says they intend to prosecute everyone who is responsible. Children are the most precious and vulnerable members of our society and senseless acts of violence endangering their lives will not be tolerated in Jasper County. Mariella Gonzalez, KTRE, East Texas News 9. And officials say they still have at least 200 more witnesses to talk to. They are also asking for anyone with video to turn that into authorities. More information is expected to be released sometime tomorrow.